What is going on Savage Life family? Today we are taking a look at a new company that just IPO'd as of yesterday, Wonder Team, and it is a firm. Now, if you guys don't know, a firm is pretty much a virtual card, a split pay that lets you uh, pay for or finance uh, products on their website. And they also work with other websites where you're able to use a firm. I like Shopify, but before we hop into it, let's go ahead and look at their chart real quick. So the stock opened at $90.90 a share after the lender priced its IPO at $49 each, above its range of $41 through $44. And it soared 98% at close to $97.24 on its first trading day. Now seeing here, you can see a steady rise in the pre-market and the after hours. It's already up $4.26 and it's going to continue to rise as more people are noticing that it actually IPO'd and it's already listed on the market. A firm's strong growth and its role as a provider of consumers, financial services to a range of popular consumer retailers has made the IPO a great deal. A firm had revenue for the June 2020 fiscal year of $509 million, which is up 93% from a year ago. So 2019 to 2020 up 93%. And now that more and more things are transitioning online, we are going to be looking at an even bigger growth for a firm. We have seen the growth that has affected e-commerce like Shopify. They're up in the past year alone, 178%, $1,232. And the firm is the first major tech listing of the year, following the most notable recent debuts in December, which is DoorDash and Airbnb. So far, Airbnb has not done as good as DoorDash or as a firm is soon projected to look like. So this, these two companies here go to show how far a firm is projected to reach. This uh, $167 mark, it could definitely reach it by mid to the end of this year. And Shopify, it's soon to blow up like this. Probably not a year from now, but five years from now. It definitely does have the potential to reach so as long as they keep bringing in that revenue and growing and partnering with other companies. Now, its payment platform allows consumers to pay for purchases in fixed amounts without deferred interest, hidden fees, or penalties. Since their founding in 2012, they have charged $0 in late fees for missed payments, claiming they never profit from consumers' mistakes as they are transparent in their product offerings. So with that honesty and great service, the company says as of September 30th, 2020, more than 6.2 million consumers have completed approximately 17.3 million transactions with over 6,500 merchants on the platform. So at home equipment company Peloton, uh, also known as Peloton, which I've showed you recently at $167.50 is listed as a top merchant partner representing approximately 28% of its total revenue for fiscal year ending in June 30th, 2020. So you want to keep an eye on Peloton. If a firm is no longer working with Peloton, is going to drop their total revenue uh, majorly. But as long as Peloton is performing well and it still keeps its partnership with a firm, then if we see growth on Pennington, we're also going to be seeing growth on Affirm as well. As well as Shopify uh, starting 2021 with the bank thanks to an 8% stake in Affirm, the year's first notable tech IPO. With the partnership, Affirm became the provider of Shopify's new buy now, pay later financial service called Shop Pay Installments, which launched for some US merchants late last year, allowing a firm to significantly expand the number of merchants and consumers on their platform. We all know how huge spot, uh, Shopify is, so landing major deals with companies like this is only going to benefit a firm in the long run. And let's be honest, when buying products that are pretty pricey or expensive, like let's say electronics, these drones go for over four, $600. These Macs go for over $1,000. So 
no one really has the money to drop it and if you do have the money you don't want to drop like a thousand two thousand dollars right then and there so a firm is a good way to be lent credit there's no hidden fees no late fees whereas using a credit card interest is through the roof so i definitely believe this company in the long term I only wish the opening price was a lot uh, cheaper than this $90.90 range. But it lets you know, if it's starting off at this level, it lets you know the potential a year from now what it's going to be looking like. I'm definitely going to go ahead and snag me some shares as long as it doesn't jump up above the $110 price before I did so. Um, and if you guys saw my recent video, congrats to you on Churchill Capital. I was only able to grab a 50 shares, but as soon as I exit my contract, I'm gonna go ahead and grab me another extra 150. Since the merger has not gone through, there's still plenty of potential for this company here. And a lot of people still don't know about it. So this here is a pop willing to happen. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.